But in the 1980s, we saw this now get extended because there was this fascinating research going on then in Sweden and in Mexico. I saw some of these videos. They were amazing. Parkinson's patients who had uh, already advanced enough in the disease that they were no longer able to control their movement. They either were in that kind of jerky stage or even further on, they were now frozen. And they would have transplants of fetal neurological tissue into their own brains in the hope that it would now spur what we now understand as really dopamine production. And in those videos, we saw dramatic improvements. People who'd been frozen or jerky before walking up and down a corridor with a near normal gait, a complete transformation in quality of life. And so the question was, shouldn't we be doing this research here? Why is it in Mexico and Sweden? And one of the obstacles was the fetal tissue because the tissue came from aborted fetuses. Now remember, this is not about using an actual embryo or an actual fetus. This is leftover tissue after the fetus is long dead. Now remember, this is not about using an actual embryo or an actual fetus. This is leftover tissue after the fetus is long dead. But in the 1980s, the same kind of Hyde Amendment precedent led the government for another 12 years to stop funding research that used fetal tissue.